Helen House was the world's first hospice for children. Helen and her family have been coming here for several years and it's a huge support to her mother, Sandra. Helen has a metabolic disorder. It's called glutaric aciduria type 1. Her body doesn't break down proteins properly. Here we go. She built a lot of poisons in her bloodstream. Basically, it caused brain damage. Right, who's getting dizzy? Me. And me. <laughs> the disability is, is very severe because it is a movement disorder. So she has plenty of movement. She can feel and she can touch, but she can't touch things to order. If she wants to read a book, somebody has to turn the page for her. If she wants to access the computer, she's got to get somebody else to control the mouse or operate the switches for her. Down. Down. Makes it very difficult for her because yeah. her intellect is unaffected. She has to literally give instruction. She'll oh. shout up, up. You know, down, left, <coughs> click, right. Boring. And if you don't quite understand exactly what she means, I can't see now. Boring. This one? Yeah. There's a lot of frustration, she gets quite cross. Obviously when she's playing with her brother, you know, she ends up being yeah. passive and letting him get on with it, basically. So it's a very severe disability and one of the hardest to work for in terms of technology. The special effect is, uh, is a charity and uh, what we are interested in doing is making games easy to play for as many people as possible. A lot of people with disabilities will watch other people enjoying themselves but don't have a chance to join in and, and what we're about is enabling people to join in and Helen is a very good example of someone who can't play the actual game. It's a double whammy because she can't play existing computer games. Number one. Eye control is a really good example of saying, well, even if someone only can have control of their eyes, yeah. then okay, if you get the design right, then you can join in as well. If she wants to move it, then she just holds her eye on that place for about a second. If she dwells on that position, then it says, right, she wants to put that piece here. And that contrasts to the way you're having to do something for her. And this is, she just it shows you how quick her mind's actually working. The beauty with the eye control computer is that for the first time, we really did play a game together. Uh oh, that was daft to me, wasn't it? Yeah. There's no mice, um, no keyboards, no extra bits hanging off. It's just Helen and her computer. Is it a lot easier yeah. than trying to direct me? Do you think? Yeah. I think so as well. Yeah. You have more fun because we actually do it together rather than you just tell me what to do. Okay. It opens up a wider world than email and homework and everything else. It's been a huge boost to her. It's, it's revolutionary. I mean, it, it, it really does save lives in the biggest sense of the word.